I'm David Wall, your Sunday midday fall friend with your weekly update for the week of October 7th. And I'm Michelle Maestra Simonson, your Chief Content Officer and your Saturday morning companion. It has been a busy week here as we are wrapping up our fall fun drive. If you haven't had a chance to give yet, there's still time. Go to classicalking.org. In other news, we've got another round of Northwest Focus concert calendar recommendations just for you. Now, we love taking the ferries, especially this time of year. And if you do too, you'll want to take the ferry out to Bremerton Island for the West Sound Symphony's 82nd season. They have their opening concert featuring fanfares from famous cartoons, a special guest clarinetist playing a rare Irish gem, and Gustav Mahler's luscious Symphony No. 1. That's this Sunday, October 13th at 3 p.m. at Central Kitsap High School in Silverdale. But if you're looking for something a little closer to Seattle, we're thrilled to be celebrating with Philharmonia Northwest as they welcome their new music director, Michael Wheatley, in his inaugural performance. The concert features compositions central to Michael's musical identity, including music by Wojciech Kilar and two special guests, Seattle Symphony violinist Elisa Barston performing Dvorak and Ravel, and soprano Elena Lewis singing the heavenly role in Gustav Mahler's Fourth Symphony. Stick around after the concert for a Q&A session with Michael Wheatley. That's Sunday, October 13th at 2 p.m. at Shorecrest Performing Arts Center. And if you need something geared towards your little ones, the Northwest Symphony Orchestra has just the thing. They're celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month with a family-friendly season opener featuring music from Latin America with guest appearances from violinist Eric Rines and tenor Jose Iniguez. They're also teaming up with Key to Change Studios, an organization dedicated to inspiring underserved youth through music, led by Classical King's artist scholar in residence, Dr. Quentin Morris. That's Saturday, October 12th at 7.30 p.m. at Highline Performing Arts Center in Burien. The Port Angeles Symphony is welcoming violinist Matthew Daly for two performances of chamber music with music by Mozart, Florence Price, Brahms, and more. These are Friday, October 11th at 7 p.m. at the Holy Trinity Lutheran Church in Port Angeles and Saturday, October 12th at Trinity United Methodist Church in Squim. There's also the first Pacific Lutheran University Wind Ensemble Concert of the Year happening this Sunday, October 13th at 3 p.m. at Lagercrest Hall on the PLU campus. And for those of you who just want to cozy up at home to your favorite fall beverages, we've got you covered. On this week's Northwest Focus Live, we are rebroadcasting a special performance from earlier this year when the acclaimed group Wind Sync visited our studios. Their performance runs the classical gamut from Mozart, to Seattle-based composer Miguel Del Aguila. That's Friday, October 11th at 7 p.m. right here on Classical King. Maggie Malloy is putting on her tinfoil hat for this week's second inversion episode. It's all about those alien encounters and includes one physicist's recordings from the furthest reaches of our solar system. That's Saturday night at 9 p.m. here on Classical King. And for more information on any of these events that you just heard about, head to our website, classicalking.org. That's, That's all for your weekly, weekly update. update. See you next week. <laughs>